The two jail protesters from the Pussy Riot Group could be freed early under a planned hooliganism amnesty to be voted on in the Russian parliament. The plan could avert an embarrassment for President Vladimir Putin after the Russian Supreme Court separately ordered that the women's convictions and sentences should be reconsidered. Until they launched their brazen protest against Vladimir Putin on the altar of Russia's most prominent cathedral, the world had barely heard of the punk rock band Pussy Riot. But thanks to the authorities' heavy-handed response, Pussy Riot, their protest if not their music, went global and viral. But it also earned them a fate they perhaps hadn't bargained for. Six months later, three members were convicted of hooliganism motivated by religious hatred and sentenced to two years in jail. One was later freed. Their plight has attracted support not only of human rights organizations, but also celebrities, from Madonna to Paul McCartney. Then, out of the blue, earlier this week, President Putin submitted an amnesty to Parliament. Although no individuals were named, hooliganism was mentioned as one of the categories to be pardoned. The move could be a way of averting embarrassment for Mr. Putin after the Supreme Court ordered a review into the guilty judgments. There's also speculation that the president is feeling the pressure to release the pair ahead of the Winter Olympics in Sochi, which start in February. Since they're due out in March, their early release looks, shall we say, timely. Well, I'm joined now from Moscow by Pietro Versilov. He's the husband of Nadezhda Tolokonikova and a performance artist in his own right. Welcome to the program. Uh, just tell us, first of all, what you've actually heard, what you actually know about their release. Well, we do know that uh, President Putin has submitted the amnesty uh, bill to the uh, to Russia's parliament, to the State Duma, and it will be voted for the first time on Tuesday, on uh, December the 17th, and it could pass in one vote, it could take several days, it could take a week, but we do expect that this bill, because it is submitted by the president, it will be approved by the Duma before New Year, so we have a chance that the girls will be set free before New Year's Eve. And is it your understanding as well that this is essentially politically motivated to avoid any kind of future embarrassment? Well, obviously it is. I mean, but uh, surely this isn't much of a present from Vladimir Putin because the girls, both uh, imprisoned girls, my wife Nadezhda and the other incarcerated Pussy Riot member Maria, they have uh, basically two months in prison to go. So, and they've served almost the, their full two years and now President Putin is making this grand gift of two months of their sentence. So obviously it's a small politically motivated move that they're trying to show, first of all, to the West here. I mean, the jailing of, of the Pussy Riot girls, as you call them, has captivated uh, much of the global imagination and has focused once again the limelight on President Vladimir Putin. But to some extent, perhaps one could say that it's a bit of a red herring because there are much more serious issues at stake in Russia today than the fate of Pussy Riot, aren't there? Well, obviously, there are uh, thousands of very serious issues in Russia, but as most uh, people who are active in politics in Russia like to say, the first question that needs to be solved in Russia right now, and Russia's biggest problem, is the horrible state of the country's court system. Mm -hmm. And the Pussy Riot case was a brilliant display of how bad Russian courts actually are. So basically, this is why this case has gotten so big and so notorious, because everyone saw that there are no courts in Russia. There is simply a system that carries out orders pushed by the Kremlin. And what do you say to the fact that there are millions of Russians um, who are really deeply offended by this sort of protest that, that took place in one of the country's most prominent cathedrals, um, as they're indeed offended by many other things that Vladimir Putin has railed against? It is a very conservative country, isn't it? Well, you know, it's really hard to see how Russia conservative is. I think Russia's, uh, this, the uh, level of Russia's uh, conservatism is really, uh, you could say, uh, felt too much by the West in several years. You have, to rem you have to remember that 20 years ago, the Soviet Union and Russia was an officially atheist country. Mm -hmm. And here we have 20 years ago, and here we have 20 years later, people saying that they're very... Uh, Christian, very mm. orthodox, and their feelings get easily offended. So we do feel that 
uh, the minds of millions of Russians of a portion of population that, for example, was really right. insulted by what the Pussy Riot Girls did is largely influ influenced by government propaganda, which is uh, very powerful in Russia through state okay. television. Got to leave it there, I'm afraid. Uh, Pietro Vesilov, thank you very much indeed for coming on the program.